uh, tips on how to start an urban backyard farm so we're going to talk about it so so that now you will have an idea of how to start an urban uh, organic farm In your, just in your backyard this is just about uh, maybe five meters by eight meters so this is about 40 square meters I've done, I'm doing so many things so I'll give you tips on how to start the layout and how each activity is complementing the other activity for example here so I have rabbits and rabbits eat a lot so therefore, I must grow crops to feed my rabbit, just like this one. This trichantera, protein. This is napier grass, another protein. And of course, all these vegetables, okay, when I prune them, can be eaten by the rabbits. Now, rabbits will produce waste. Now, how do you manage the waste? So, under the cages of my rabbits, I have plenty of earthworms. Here. Plenty of earthworms. And then, of course, the beddings. I need to have a place to store them. But now the worms can continue their work. So here, I have another bedding there. Of earthworms. So once they are eaten by the worms, now I can use them to fertilize my plants. You see? Design. It's an integrated design. The waste of one becomes the food of another. There is no waste. Everything is utilized. And in the process, we make money. This is 500 cuttings of dragon fruit. 100 shillings each. That's 50,000. 50,000 is actually $500. Extra money. Uh, and then, of course, now you can grow food. So, kangkong here or Chinese spinach is very expensive. And then, of course, kamote tops, sweet potato vine, ang tawag na And then, you have to utilize every space available. Look at my walls. I plant more dragon fruits. Like that. So, the complementarity of its activity in the farm should be well designed. So in such a very small space, you can earn money or you can save money for the family because there are many things that you are not buying anymore. So I even plant, uh, what is this? Spring onions. And of course the rabbit will give us meat, protein. <coughs> Our kids, my kids love rabbit meat. So if you have uh, two female and one male, based on experience, you will be able to produce 180 pounds of meat every year. Two female and one male, you will be able to produce 180 pounds. Now count for me how many females I have. This is one, this is two, this is three, four, five and then six females so that's 180 pounds times three 540 pounds of meat every year this is my buck okay the male so this portion here is empty 
this is for my fattening cage fattening cage after they are they have been separated from their mom and then below I have vermiculture by the way so as I mentioned to you I have plenty of worms there there I sell 20 shillings each 20 shillings is 10 pesos they're just there enjoying the rabbit poop all right good morning once again i hope you enjoyed this morning uh be blessed it's about uh 8 15 in the morning here in kenya nairobi uh i think it's about 1 1 15 in the afternoon in the philippines in manila so enjoy the rest of your day god is good all the time and all the time god is good tumsifu yesu christo melele na melele amina mungu barikiwa god bless ah we're going to enjoy dragon fruit again tonight so this small backyard farm just a, a product of my it's it's a hobby it's my passion but while i'm enjoying i'm also earning money here good morning everyone bye and god bless